Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we are going to take a look at this USB 2.0 motherboard connector with four USB 2.0 ports. Now if you are somebody who is running out of USB ports on their computer, this is something that you can take a look at. I got this from Amazon.in and for this I paid about 325 rupees that is about four and a half US dollars. Now this is a generic product basically it is manufactured in China and different sellers and resellers from all around the world buy this from China and rebrand this put their own brand on the packaging and sell this as their own. So you will be able to find the same product but with different brand names in different countries or different websites. So without any further delay let me just take this out and see how this looks from inside. So this came in this uh, normal plastic packaging with uh, Amazon tape all around this. And that's pretty much what you get inside the packaging. It did not come with any screws, so you will have to use your own, whether you wanna mount this at the uh, back of your computer or not. So this is how the unit uh, looks while holding the unit in my hand. It feels sturdy, all the screws, it doesn't feel cheap, uh, that's what I'm uh, saying. The wire also feels very good quality and the wire at the end is terminated with this heat shrink tubing and then you can see your bare wire which is connected to our a nine pin motherboard connector. Now this connector will connect to your motherboard on the USB 2.0 uh, port headers and then that will give you uh, four USB ports and that way you, you can increase the number of ports on your computer. Now like I always do in my videos, let us measure the length of this cable. So I've got my tape measure here. So starting from uh, here, let me just put the tape measure here and st stretch this. So you can see the cable length is coming out to be almost 10 inches, which is a little shorter in my opinion, although it will reach at the PCI slot easily. But if this was a little longer, that would be much uh, nicer. That would have been much nicer because shorter cable put some strain on this end and can put some strain on this end. A longer cable also a little flexible it puts put less strain on the each end of the wire and who knows maybe you want to put this at the back of your computer in the PCI slot or maybe you just want to hang this on the side of your computer which is what I'm going planning to do uh, with my setup 17 years old uh, computer so there is that anyways that's pretty much about the physical appearance and size of this cable let me just install this and show you what is the reason i got this for my computer all right guys so this is what i wanted to do so i've got this ssd which is a one terabyte ssd this has some wedding photographs and videos which i wanted to transfer from here onto this usb flash drive the problem is my computer only has one spare usb ports and to transfer data between two devices you need at least two uh, usb ports on your computer which is the reason I got this. So let me just connect this on our computer and see whether uh, it works or not. All right, so here is my 17 years old computer. As you can see, it looks in a very bad shape, but it still works, so I don't have any problem with this. So let me show you at the back of my computer. You can see that there are four USB 2.0 ports, but all the ports are occupied. One port is occupied with this 128 GB Amazon Basics pen drive which is always plugged in. I basically use this as a temporary storage. So if whenever I have any new data and I don't know where to keep that data, I usually transfer that data to this drive and then later on I can figure it out where to transfer that data. The bottom two ports are connected. One of the port is occupied with a Logitech dongle which connects to my, blue, uh, my keyboard and mouse. The other is a Rocketech Bluetooth dongle and there's only one port left there which is connected to a USB extension cable which is coming here uh, on this table. So this is the only port that I have left uh, spared on this computer. So if I wanted to transfer data between two different devices, I would have to connect both the devices at the same time. But because I've only got one spare USB port here, I won't be able to do that. Now you may question that, what about the front uh, ports on this uh, computer? Yes, there is two USB ports at the in the front, as you can see there. But one of the port is port is not working. Only one port works. So I'm only left with one working usb ports which is here the one port in the front is connected to my wi-fi usb adapter which is here as you can see here so let us connect our usb connector that we've just bought so let me show you where you can connect this on your motherboard so here is my motherboard and on this particular motherboard as you can see at the bottom of the motherboard you will find these two headers one says f usb1 and the f usb2 f basically stands for a front panel and the FUSB one is already connected to some uh, cables, which is connected to my front panel USB, which I just showed you in the beginning. So on this motherboard, I have only one spare 
f usb 2 connector which is where i'm going to connect my usb port now your computer may have both of these ports uh, open or not utilized but you will always find at least one not utilized because both the ports are very rarely utilized at the same time so let me just connect uh, our uh, usb port that we just bought so as you can see on these connector there is a pin missing which will help you to align with the usb connector there so if you take a look at the usb connector there we can see there is uh, one pin missing there just below the 10 there's a pin and below that pin there is no pin which is where our blocked pin goes in this connector so let me just connect it there so it is now connected so let's connect our devices so first is my flash drive where i want to transfer my data so as you can see let us connect the, it there it is now connected and here is my ssd one terabyte ssd so let me connect that as well there we go all right guys so i've connected my two usb drives to the usb ports one is a normal 128 gigabytes usb flash drive and the other one is a 1000 gb or one terabyte ssd which i've connected using a sata 2 usb cable on this usb 2.0 ports so let us check whether these two drives are detected or not so here is my computer and as you can see we are on the uh, my computer and this is the one terabyte drive which is almost full now and here is a brand new 128 gb uh, pen drive that we've just connected so what i want to do in this uh, video is i want to transfer some uh, wedding photographs and videos let's just check uh, uh, look at the properties of the files so as you can see this is about 131.8 gigabytes of data which includes a lot of pictures and videos so i'm going to be transferring them from this ssd one terabyte ssd to the let's just copy it then i'm going to go to my computer open the g drive which is by 128 gb pen drive i'm going to click paste and i also measure the timing so i'm going to start a timer now now this is not some kind of an standardized test i'm just doing this to give you an idea if you are somebody who also want to transfer some data from your ssd to a flash drive using uh, usb 2.0 ports in this case i'm transferring about 31 gb of data uh, we will see how much uh, time you can expect to transfer that data and at the moment it's displaying about 35 minutes remaining and the speed that we are getting while copying the data is somewhere close to 15.7 15.8 megabytes per second so let us come back when the copying is completely finished all right guys so our transfer is finished so let's take a look at the timer so as you can see it took about 36 minutes to transfer 31 gb of file from the ssd onto this usb flash drive when both the drives our usb pen drive and as well as our ssd were connected to the uh, usb drive usb ports that we've just bought so hopefully this will give you some idea about the usb 2.0 speeds and what to expect when transferring data using the usb 2.0 ports such as these ones all right guys so now let me show you how you will install this usb connector at the back of your computer so you can see at the back of every cabinet there are these uh, pci slot for installing your pci peripherals or devices uh, as you can see uh, in this very old uh, cabinet this is a 17 years old cabinet and this is how they used to make these things back then so to open this i have these two screws the newer uh, cabinets are very different they are very easy to install you don't have to do all these things but in this case i have to remove this so if you don't know this is how they used to make uh, cabinets uh, about 17 18 years ago so let me just open these two screws and then we will install our usb connector by the way i will not be installing this here permanently i will be keeping this maybe hang this hair or tie this hair with a zip tie or something like that because every once in a while i'm changing something in this computer so i don't want anything permanent uh, on this uh, rig there so let me just open the screws and then we'll install it so that's one screw out let me remove the second screw as well so second screw is also out let me just remove this and this is out and now we can install our usb connector here so let me just install it all right so here is our connector so let me just put this here like that and from the back this is how it will look so once you're happy with it you want to install a small screw in there 
So it did not come with any screw, so I'm going to install my own screw. So let me just do that. So here is my screw. Let me just put this in. So after installing, uh, this is how the USB ports at the back of your computer will look. And if I were to straighten my cabinet there, you can see this is how the USB port at the back side of your cabinet will look. So there we go. This was my video on this USB 2.0 motherboard connector that comes with four USB ports. There is not much in there. It's just a bunch of wires connecting the USB ports to your motherboard headers. So if you are somebody who needs extra USB 2.0 ports, you can definitely take a look at this. Anyways, I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.